Hey guys, so shortly after I posted the SpaceX update video yesterday, Mark 1 suffered an unfortunate anomaly. So yesterday, Wednesday, November 20th, SpaceX actually did conduct testing on Mark 1. Road closures were initially cancelled for Wednesday, but were then back on. Venting was seen coming from the tank farm at the launch site. It was later confirmed that a max pressure test occurred. At around 3.27pm Boca Chica time, an anomaly occurred. Starship Mark 1 blew its top. There's a lot of speculation going around as to what actually caused the anomaly. Some guesses online include the rupture of the top bulkhead or a structural failure of one of the top rings. At the time of the incident, it appears that both of the tanks were well pressurized as dents in Mark 1's surface began smoothening out. SpaceX's response in a response to a question by Everyday Astronaut on Twitter, Elon stated that the company will now move on to Mark III testing, stating that this, meaning Mark I, had some value as a manufacturing part finder, but flight design is quite different. The outcome was not unexpected. CNBC markets and space reporter Michael Sheets tweeted a statement from SpaceX on the test and incident. It states, the purpose of today's test was to pressurize systems to the max, so the outcome was not completely unexpected. There were no injuries, nor is this a serious setback. Again, as Elon tweeted, Mark 1 served as a valuable manufacturing part finder, but flight design is quite different. The decision has already been made to not fly this test article and the team is focused on the Mark III build, which is designed for orbit. The incident again highlights the importance of testing in general as well as SpaceX's commitment to test their vehicles to the limits. This is why SpaceX tests. Lessons learned from vulnerabilities on Mark 1's design will likely be applied to the development on future iterations of Starship. SpaceX's rapid prototyping process has ensured that there are vehicles in the pipeline. The first ring of Mark III has already been spotted. New Timelines In the statement mentioned earlier, SpaceX stated that the anomaly on Mark I is not a serious setback. Despite not being deemed a serious setback, it's not quite clear how this setback affects the timeline for a 20km test flight or an orbital flight of Starship. It now seems certain that a 20km test will not occur by the end of the year, but as to how many months of delay we could expect to see, it's still unclear. There will likely be a lot more developments in the coming hours and days as SpaceX turns its attention to new Mark III and Mark IV design iterations in Boca Chica and Coco respectively. I'll keep you posted on updates as more information emerges.